Yeah. Scenes from this year's Youth Fishing Rodeo will have all the prize winners for you in just a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spann. Also this week, Fort Mead Declassified goes in depth on domestic violence awareness. The Army-Navy game is back on, and this year's Native American Heritage Month observance is coming up. These stories and more, but first, at this week's installation town hall, Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Chris Nyland started the forum talking about improving COVID-19 case rates in the local community. So where we were hovering just below 15 cases over 100,000 in our five surrounding communities, uh, over the past two weeks, that number has dropped to 12. So that's a pretty significant move in just two-week period. Um, obviously. Um, we are encouraged by any downward trends in the case rates. Um, however, I do want to remind folks that uh, the threshold for HPCon Alpha is two cases over 100,000. So we still have a ways to go to get to that level where we could uh, confidently transition HPCon Alpha, which would have the biggest impact on all mitigation measures around the entire post. Coral Nyland also addressed questions on pesticides and housing, traffic issues, and a whole lot more. You can watch the town hall in its entirety on our Facebook page. Just click on videos. In other news, Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center announced this week that at this time they're providing flu vaccinations to active duty service members only. McGill Training Center is hosting the shot clinic October 26th and 28th and on November 4th. Kimbrough is projecting the majority of their influenza vaccine will arrive in early November. They added that all TRICARE beneficiaries can get their flu vaccines at participating retail network pharmacies. You can go to this website for more information. Meanwhile, October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Our podcast crew, Joe Nieves and Sherry Kuyper, went in depth with Fort Meade's Family Advocacy Program Manager, Ms. Selena Flowers. In this excerpt, Ms. Flowers talks about services available at Fort Meade. So victims of intimate partner violence, um, you know, they need our support mm -hmm. and uh, they need someone to listen to them. And, and quite honestly, to believe their story, right? Yeah. And so that's what we're here for. Um, we want to make sure that, you know, every victim that comes forward is assigned a domestic abuse victim advocate. We have two on staff here at Fort Meade. Um, you know, here at Fort Meade, we encourage those that experience domestic violence to, you know, come forward immediately and contact our victim advocates. We're on call 24 hours, so there should be not a minute of the day that a victim does not feel like they have the support of our domestic abuse victim advocates. Um, once they contact our hotline or they can walk in our office Monday through Friday, 7.30 to 4, um, there will be a victim advocate waiting there to serve them. What's the, what's the hotline number? So the hotline number is 240-688-6918. Again, that's 240-688-6918. You can listen to the entire conversation on the latest edition of our podcast, Fort Meade Declassified. Elsewhere, Fort Meade's Equal Opportunity Advisors invite you to this year's Native American Indian Heritage Month observance. It's coming up Tuesday, November 9th at 1130 at Club Meade. This year's guest speaker, Dr. Ashley Minner, a member of North Carolina's Lumbee Tribe, is the Assistant Curator for History and Culture at the Smithsonian National Museum of the American Indian. Once again, that's coming up November 9th at Club Meade. Meanwhile, Fort Meade MWR and the Meade Rod and Gun Club held this year's Youth Fishing Rodeo October 9th at Burba Lake. The event lasted from 8 to noon with prizes being awarded in three age categories. So let's get right to it. In the ages 3 to 6 category, first place went to Cameron Foss and his bullhead catfish, second went to Lola Winchester, and third place to Abel Means and his bluegill. In the ages 7 to 11 category, Kislam Singh took first prize with a near 2 pound American eel. Second went to Christy Meineke, and third to Olivia Sprague, who caught a red ear sunfish. And in the ages 12 to 15 group, Simon Howard took first place with Shiraz Singh in second, and Melissa Allen in third. They all caught a bluegill. And finally, prizes were awarded to smallest fish and largest. Oliver Winchester's bluegill was the smallest, and Kislam Singh's previously mentioned eel was the biggest. Congratulations to all the participants. And finally, after last year's COVID cancellation, the 21st Fort Meade Army-Navy game finally gets to take place. It's coming up November 2nd on Mullins Field. The tailgate sponsored by the Central Maryland Chamber Military Affairs Committee and MWR starts at 3 with kickoff at 345. Army has won three straight and five out of the last six. Army and Navy, November 2nd on Mullins Field. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Meade Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.